Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to view your firewalls in Visual Studio Code. So basically in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually see your firewalls, print them and to see them in the terminal for example in Visual Studio Code. So first of all, I will start with how to get in to Visual Studio Code, how to get it in the first place. It is pretty simple, just go to your browser, open the URL section and search for Visual Studio Code. After that, just go to the first website that will appear for you, which is called visualstudio.com. So here it is, click on it and then download for Windows. Let or else you can just click here to see if you have, for example, macOS, Linux or Windows. You can choose whatever thing you want from here or other downloads from here. Or you can also open it in your browser without even downloading it. Now, after we finish with all these steps, all you need to do is actually go to your Visual Studio. And here, guys, all you need to do is actually click on new file. And let's select a language. For example, for me, I'm going to use Python. So I'm going to search for Python, something like that. And yeah, guys, that's it. So now, in order for you to print your variables, what I'm going to do is actually make some variables. So A equals, for example, um, 20. And here I will do something like that. And let's see. So here, what I'm going to do is actually click here, run and debug, save, and Python file. And as you can see, now it must print A, which is 20. So um, if you, I'm going to change it to something else, for example, let's make it more complicated. So A equals B and B equal, no, no I make it like that, B equals C and C actually equals to 3. So as you can see now, let me just change this to this. And as you can see, by the end they must print three so now let's go and click here and as you can see they printed three so you guys that's how you can view your variables in visual studio code in any kind of languages so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial